was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do so. It was full of important people, like the fat controller, and Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, 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 he said. Tickety talk, tickety talk, tickety talk, said the coaches. In a minute, Gordon would see the tunnel where Henry stood bricked up and lonely. <laughs> thought Henry. Why did I worry about rain spoiling my lovely coat of paint? Will the fat controller ever forgive me and let me out again? I'm going to poop poop at Henry, said Gordon. He was almost there when... And there was Gordon going slower and slower in a cloud of steam. His driver stopped the train. What has happened to me? asked Gordon. I feel so weak. You've burst your safety valve, said the driver. You can't pull the train anymore. Oh, dear, said Gordon. We were going so nicely, too. And look, there's Henry laughing at me. Everyone came to see Gordon. Huh, said the fat controller. I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Send for another engine at once. Slink onto the siding out of the way. Edward was the only engine left. I'll come and try, he said. <laughs> No use. Edward can't push the train. Edward puffed and pushed and pushed and puffed, but he couldn't move the heavy coaches. I told you so, said Gordon. Why not let Henry try? Yes, said the fat controller. I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? He asked. station at the end of the line. The passengers all said thank you and the fat controller promised Henry a new coat of paint. On their way home Edward and Henry helped Gordon back to the shed. All three engines are now great friends. Henry doesn't mind the rain now. He knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is not to run into tunnels but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over. <laughs> 